Well, hello, everybody, and happy Saturday. It is Saturday, May 27th, 2023, at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, and this is Lisa Freeman from StampingWithLisa.com coming to you live, and uh, I've got an ad on here, so let's wait for this to go by. There we go. All right, how are you guys doing? And, of course, I'm crooked. Let me fix that. Let's see. Hmm. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Always crooked on here. I don't know what happens with this thing. All right. How are you guys doing today? It is a gloomy day here. It's been cloudy and kind of sprinkly and chilly. It only got up to like 63 today. It was kind of like fall almost. It was kind of cold. I've been in my... um pants and jacket. <laughs> it was cold today. It doesn't even feel like spring. It feels like fall. So um, I had to go take a nap. <laughs> and I almost missed the video because I said, well, about 4.30. I, I, well, I'll start from the beginning. So this morning I was sound asleep and I get a text message from one of the girls at work and she's like oh I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it to work today now she has to be at work at 7 45 and she texts me at 7 30 <laughs> I'm like you have got to be kidding me uh you have to be at work in 15 minutes and you're texting me now so I was in a panic but um anyway luckily I had three people coming in this morning so she was the third one, so it was okay. But she was supposed to work all day long, so she was doing a double. So I didn't have anybody to do the second half of the day. So I had to find somebody else to do the second half with the other person. So that just kind of started my day off bad. But anyway, I went to take a nap at like 4.30, and I said, well, I'll just take a little nap for like an hour. And I set my alarm for 5.30, and I said, okay, I'll just take a short nap for like an hour, and so I fell sound asleep, and I wake up, and I was like, wow, that was an awesome nap, and it felt like way more than an hour, <laughs> and I look at my phone, it's 6.30, I was like, oh my gosh, the alarm didn't go off. So I go look at the uh, alarm on my phone, and it's set for 5.30 a.m., <laughs> and I said, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I almost missed the video. So you guys, I, the only thing that woke me up was my bladder, I tell you. I, I'm like, oh, good thing I had to go to the bathroom, or I would still be asleep. So you guys would be sitting on here by yourselves. <laughs> so anyway... That is um, how my day's been going. So, hey, everybody. Hey, Renee. Hey, Josie. Hey, Spice Girl. All right, is everybody in their pajamas today? Hey, Julie. Hey, Sharon. Hey, Diana. Hey, Judy. Hey, Elfie. Um, how you feeling, Spice Girl? Um, let me see. Today has been tough, but I've had good days, too. That's good. Oh, yes. Of course, you could be on here without your pajamas on. Hey, Tony. Hey, Cindy. Um, hey, Reva. Haven't seen you in a while. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Lucy. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Kathy. Did my card arrive yet? Oh, that was to Debbie Spicer. Another Deborah. Hey, Patricia. Let's see. Hey, Laura. Hey, Mel. Oops, everybody just went flying by all of a sudden. Been working hard, making sympathy cards. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Bonnie. Hey, Miriam. Okay. Lots of people joining us tonight. Yes, yeah, Spice Girl is on here. Spice Girl needs her Lisa laughter, says Vicky. All right. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I actually had to put on clothes today because I had somebody coming to, um, I had a plumber come in to fix my toilet. Because when I got my um, bathroom redone a while back, um, 
something happened when they installed the toilet and just wasn't doing right. So the plumber came and fixed it today. It took them all of five minutes. So that was good, but I still had to get up and get dressed today. So <laughs> I did get some happy mail. So I got this gorgeous card from Annie Wagner. And I just love that. She did calligraphy. I've always wanted to learn how to do that. And I thought this card was absolutely gorgeous. And it has lots of shimmer spray on there. So she is a shimmerette also. Can you see it on there sparkling? Thought it was so gorgeous. And it's got my favorite metallic ribbon also. So thank you, Annie, for that gorgeous card. That is absolutely beautiful. I love it, love it, love it. So thank you so much for brightening my day. And don't forget the card kit. So this is the card kit for just about, what's today, the 27th? Oh, just a few more days. So you get this card kit in the mail if you order $50 or more and you use the host code. So I've had quite a few people who have not used the host code in the last week. So I'm trying to decide what to do about that because um, you guys have got to use the host code. Um, so make sure if you place an order, you do that with the host code. If it's $50 or more, you get the card kit. And if it's $100 or more and you use the host code, you get the gems too. Um, and, but if it's $150 or more, don't use the host code because then you get the host benefits yourself. So there you go. So this is what we're making today. It's a journal. We just did this in my class on Thursday. Oh, Starla's on here. Hey, Starla. Um, so we made this, oh, Audrey's on here too. Hey, Audrey. So this is one of the projects. We did a daisy class on Thursday and, um, we did five projects, three cards and two 3D things. So this is one of the 3D items and it's a journal and it's one of those, um, you know, what you call, I don't know, composition books, you know, like you get when you're, um, in school as a kid and, uh, they are nine and three quarters by seven and a half inches. So I just took it and covered it up with paper. This is bugging me now. This piece just keeps folding up. Um, covered it with paper and then put the daisy paper on top of that and made a little binder on the edge and then a little um, thing to go on the front. So now you can just write in it and it's just got a pretty cover to it. So this is a great gift for somebody. <laughs> I just want to rip this off. <laughs> so this is what we made. Everybody loved it. So I'm going to show you how to make it. It's super easy. And I've got all the measurements for you. And you can make four of these from one pack of the designer paper. So it's um, super easy. And I cut it so it's six inches across so that you can get um, four out of one pack. And I was trying to decide what to do with this piece of paper because... Um, if I didn't bring the pack with me, but if you look at it, you get this one piece that's, you know, 12 inches across, but it's got this, um, like piece this much, like at the top, that's just blue sky. And I was like, well, that's kind of a waste because if you wanted to do just cards with it, you'd have like cards like this that have the daisies. And then you'd have another set that's like half blue and half daisies. So I was trying to figure out something else to do with it, but, um. I thought either use it for like framed art or something else. And then I came up with this idea. So I thought this was perfect. So um, this is a great idea. So everybody loved it and it's so easy to do. It just really, um, you could whip these out in no time and it doesn't even take much paper or anything. So, and this piece right here is just left over from the piece I cut off at the top. So um, all you need is this piece extra and some white cardstock and it's super easy. So we are going to do that tonight and it doesn't even take much time. So, um, probably you guys have some of these. I had a bunch of these laying around because, um, when I used to be a teacher, I used to always buy these just, you know, when they would go on sale at the beginning of the year, like the end of the summer and, um, they'd be really cheap, like 50 cents or something. I'd get a stack of them, take them to school, give them out to kids who didn't have any notebooks you know or I'd get those other ones that were like 10 cents but I always like these to do projects with so I, I think the I like sometimes the notebooks without the spiral in them so um uh Deborah no I do not have any extras sorry um 
Oh, we could all use Lisa's laugh. Thank you. <laughs> all right, so let me show you what you need to make this. And if you don't have any of these, I think they have them at the dollar store, and I'm sure they have them just about any office supply store, Walmart, everywhere. But, you know, now they're probably like a dollar something. But if you get if you catch them at the back-to-school sale, sometimes they're like 50 cents. So this is what they look like originally. They just look like the composition books. Um, and this one's just college ruled. So this is what they look like originally, and they have this, like, corner rounder. My quarter rounder didn't match this exactly, so I just did it with scissors, so no big deal. So you need one of these, and then you need two pieces of white cardstock, and the cardstock is nine and three quarters by six and three quarters, so two of those. Let me scoot this over. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit all this in the camera. I don't know, we'll try. And then the six um, inch piece, this piece right here is nine and a half by six. So that's the fresh as a daisy piece. And then the binding part is 10 by two and three quarters. And I made this longer because we're gonna crumble it up. And when you crumble it up, it gets smaller. So it's gonna shrink up. So that's why I made that um, longer. And then um, this piece for the back of the words, I cut this off. So on the back, it's this color. So that was just left over from the top piece I cut off. So that's three by one and a quarter. And then for the words is two and a half by one. And I don't think I can fit the actual journal. So we'll just um, put this here and then I'll put the journal down and you can take a picture of that too. So take a picture of that and then I'll put the journal and you take a picture of that. So you take two different pictures. Okie doke. I got a funny story of what happened to me the other day too. After this, we'll be watching a movie and die cutting a ton of cinnamons. Cin cinnamons. <laughs> I think I said cinnamons. <laughs> watching a Gina K video earlier today and she's inspired me. Oh, well, I hope I can inspire you too. Sherry says she was sleeping too. Oh yeah, don't forget to do thumbs up. We've got 49 right now, so we need a bunch more. Okay, all right, so did you get a screenshot of that? And then, um, let me see, just put that with it so you can get a screenshot of that too. All right. So hopefully everybody got that and then I'm going to take it off and we'll get started. So take off all these little things. You know, I go through a lot of post-its. <laughs> Good thing I, I have stock and post-it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> all right. So we're going to start with the white first. So that's the thing. We don't really hardly have any stamping on this thing. So that's the easy part. My gosh, this is driving me crazy. I'll put a little piece of tape on here or something. That's gonna drive me nuts if I don't tape it down. There. There. Okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Put one piece on the front. And what I did was I put the glue on the journal itself. So it, it butts up right next to the top, the bottom, and the right side. So we're not worried about the binding because that's gonna be covered. So it's gonna go right up to, like right about the edge of this part. So we wanna put glue on the whole front part. So we're just gonna go right up to the edge as close as we can get because it's gonna ooze a little bit. So you don't wanna put it like right on the edge and then put a bunch in here. All right, so there you go. And then just lay this down. And then what I do is I stand it up so that it's flat and then butt it up to the edge. And then, so now you've got it all lined up. So it's lined up to the top, the bottom, and the right side. All right, and then just smooth that out. So 
there's the front. Now you just scroll back down. Oops, there we go. So you can fit in your purse. Yeah, you could make a smaller version of these. If you get a smaller little notebook, you can make a bunch of these. But I liked how the, um, I really liked how the paper is. So it has that blue sky at the top. So I think this is the perfect size to do this. All right, so on the back, we're gonna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna put the glue all over the whole thing, except for where the binding is. I got a brand new bottle of glue. All right, so just lay that down. And with this glue, we have an extra minute, you know, to make sure it's in the right spot, so. Make sure it's all lined up with all the edges there. So you've got it on all, top, bottom, and the edge. And once you do, just rub it all in. Oh, so let me tell you my story. So the other day on Thursday, I went to mow the grass and um, my yard is looking so good. This weather is really, really making the yard look good because it's just been so perfect for growing everything. So I'm mowing my grass and it's just like plush green looking. And um, so I finished mowing the grass and um, I actually had a little bit of energy left after I finished. And I said, I think I'm gonna, and it was really cool outside. It was only like maybe 65. And I said, I think I'm gonna clean my garage a little bit. Cause I still have, you know, I've lived in this house three years and I still have, boxes and boxes and boxes in my garage. All right, now I'm gonna trim these corners. So see how the, the paper is square and the corners are curved. So I'm just gonna trim that with my scissors. So just snip it right up against that curve. And if you have a corner rounder, you can try it, but my corner rounder was not exactly the same. So um, this just was easy. It only takes like one second and works just as well. Um, so I start cleaning my garage and I'm doing really, really well. And I've got, you know, I filled up half my garbage can with junk. And um, so on the top shelf of this one shelf, I have, I gotta make sure, okay, this is the front. All right, that's the front. Make sure you got the right side. <laughs> so make sure you open it, this is the front. So. <laughs> We want to put the blue paper on the front with the daisies. So I just want to have a little bit of an edge between here and here and here. So <clears throat> we're going to put that on the back of this paper. So um, on the top shelf, I had all this bug spray. So I had a can of like wasp spray and some other stuff. Well, I go to like grab it and I'm going to scoot it all over and the wasp spray um, falls and it, the can like hits me right in the, the face and hits my tooth. And it, I like panic cause I thought I broke my tooth at first, but I didn't, but it drops to the floor and the lid was not on it. And so it had the little red, um, you know, straw sticking out of it that pops off. Um, the top of it hits the carpet. I have like, uh, strips of carpet in the garage like walking from the the kitchen door out to the garage door. And uh, it starts squirting all over the place. I mean, everywhere is like this, you know, shaving cream foam looking stuff that's just squirting, you know, it's wasp spray. And it squirts like forever far because it's got like a 12 foot spray. And I mean, this stuff is shooting like everywhere. And I'm like trying to get out of the way because I don't want to get sprayed by it. And it's, it's, I don't know why it's just like going everywhere. And uh, <laughs> so I run out of the garage and it's just still going. <laughs> so I just wait until it stopped. <laughs> so then I go back in there and uh, um, I was like, dang it. So I wasted a whole can. So that was like $5. But now it's all over my leg, so I go out to the hose and um, spray myself off because, you know, I didn't want to get that stuff on me. And um, 
So I had my tennis shoes and socks on. So now my um, my legs soaking wet, my tennis shoes, my socks, everything's soaking wet. And um, then I had to go in the garage and get all that foam up off the carpet and stuff. So I'm cleaning all that up and I'm thinking, well, okay, I'm done cleaning the garage now because... <laughs> And it had sprayed all over everything. So I'm like trying to wipe it off of everything. And my shoes and socks are just like squishing around everywhere. <laughs> it was such a mess. <laughs> um, no. No, I don't have wasps in the garage. But I just keep all the bug spray in the garage. <laughs> so if I see one, I can just go grab it in there. So that was my um, ending to my day the other day. So there you go. So if you can picture that, it's like a I Love Lucy episode. Uh, Lisa dancing over the garage trying to avoid getting sprayed by the wasp spray. All right. So now we're going to take this and I know you guys are going to go. <gasps> okay. But what you're going to have to do, because you can't really wrap this around your binding the way it is, because if you do, then it's going to just like not really bend so what you got to do is just crumble it up and make it you want to make it look like leather i know this is really pretty paper isn't it all right so we're just going to crumble it and then uncrumble it and then we're going to crumble it some more and uh starla says oh no are you saying oh no about the wasp spray or oh no about this paper <laughs> All right, so you wanna just continue to um, crumble this until it gets really, really soft in your hand. So the softer it is, the better. And yeah, if you missed it with a, bunch, a little bit of water, that does help, but it, it only takes a minute. So, and if you have lotion on your hands like I do, that also helps. That puts a little bit of um, oil in it. So mine is already getting really soft and it gives it that weathered look. Debbie Spicer said, <laughs> sorry, had a moment, crumble me. <laughs> yeah, so this is starting to look like um, my skin. <laughs> kidding. <laughs> I have pretty good skin. <laughs> okay, so now this is like super soft. So see how it's like, just super, like, it's like just super soft. And you can just, it's like, whoo, I love it. So it feels just like um, cotton almost now. It's just really soft. So it doesn't even feel like paper anymore. Um, oh, Starla was saying, <laughs> oh no, at the wasp spray. She likes to crumble paper. I know. I have one person in my class, so she just hates to crumble paper and, and distress stuff. She says, it just hurts, <laughs> but I love it. I love distressing stuff. I think it makes it look pretty. Okay, so now you can see I started with 10 inches. So this is nine and three quarters inches. So you can see it shrinks, but we're gonna have to stretch it back out just a little bit and it will go back to, um, it'll stretch back out to nine and three quarters. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna stretch it just a little bit. All right, so we want to wrap it around, and it's going to be hard for you to see in the camera, but um, hopefully you can see this. So you're going to wrap it around, and it's going to be like, I hope you can see that. It's like, can you see that? It's about an inch and a quarter maybe on either side. So you're going to have this little gap in the white. You're going to have a little bit of white right there. So that's where we're going to put our glue. So we're just gonna put the glue on here, like right up about with, to there. From So the glue is gonna go like from there to there. And then we're just gonna lay that down. So then it's gonna be really easy to put. Okay, whoops, I got a big glob right there. All right, so we're just gonna put our glue, oops, like right down here and then over. There we go. Okay, so now what we wanna do is take this and try and get it straight. 
I'm going to start at the top. And we might have a little bit over the edge, but that's okay. We can trim it. And we're just going to lay it down. And since this glue stays wet for a minute, whoops. <laughs> All right, come on, stop wiggling now. All right, so let's get this straight. We want it right up to the edge. I'm trying to get it to stay. Okay. It's not going straight here. It's not cooperating with me today. <laughs> Good thing it doesn't dry instantly. Okay, here we go. And our ribbon's gonna cover if it's not like perfectly straight, so it won't matter. Okay, there we go. All right, so once you get it on there straight or 90% straight, then you can press it down. So that's like almost straight. And see, so it comes up the edge just a little bit, but that's okay, because we can trim that. And our ribbon's gonna hide it because it's not gonna be perfectly straight. All right, so let that dry for a minute. And then we're gonna wrap it around and we're gonna glue it to the back side. So on the top it's straight and on the bottom it's got a little overhang. So I'm just gonna trim that off just a little bit. So we'll just trim it. and then wrap it around the bottom. So I'm just gonna trim it right there and then trim the rest after I wrap it. Oops. Can't cut today. Okay. All right, so now we've got to wrap the back around. Now this time I'm gonna put it actually on the paper because I don't wanna have extra glue on here. So we're just gonna put it on the paper And then wrap it. And I'm gonna pull it really tight. As tight as you can get it. And then just kind of hold it. All right. You said, I'm so glad you picked this project. It's so entertaining. <laughs> Looking good until you said, oops. <laughs> what? Oh. <laughs> oh, she says, apparently Lisa's drunk. <laughs> uh, I am not drunk. I just woke up. Barbara says she just is catching me for the first time. Oh, first time live. Okay. I always watch the replays. Well, I'm glad you're live. I wonder how many are bald. What? The leather look is nice. What do you mean how many are bald? Spice Girl has to be different. Oh, it sure is easy to fix my hair. I'm almost bald. My hair is so thin. Can see my scalp. <laughs> it's like, ah! Okay. One of my friends, she's like, What's that spot on your head? And I said, What do you mean? She goes, On the top of your head, you have this big, like, dark spot. And I, and I said, Where? And she points it out. And I said, Oh, I said, I burnt my head with the curling iron the other day. And then it got a scab and then I was messing with it. So now I have like a sore on the top of my head. But you can see it because my hair is so thin. I said, thanks for pointing that out. <laughs> I'm like, don't you just love it when people just point stuff out like that? All right, so the ribbon goes all the way around the inside. And then we're just gonna wrap it around and tie it in a knot on the front. Maybe like about a third of the way 
down. Ooh, I just cut this just enough. Hopefully my fat fingers will be able to tie a knot. I need another finger to help. Ah! Okay, there we go. All right, so we've got our little knot here. And then I'm gonna put a glue dot right underneath that so it'll hold it. So let me get a little glue dot. Oops. Put that right there to hold it in place. And then I'm just gonna trim this a little bit. And this is the, um, the ribbon, oh, what's it called? Organdy sparkle something. It's that um, glittered organdy ribbon. I love it. So that'll cover, like, if you have any, you know, thing that's not perfectly straight, it'll cover that up. Okay, so now we're going to stamp our words and our... Oh, I forgot to tell you, you need a little scrap of white to stamp your daisy, too. So the daisy's going to be in boho blue. And we're just going to stamp the outline. And just put that right on there. I love this boho blue color. It's kind of like balmy blue, but a darker version. And then the Follow Your Dreams I got from that set, Lighting Your Way, the one with the lantern. So that goes on the little white piece here. And that's going to go all the way to the left. And because I was looking through the book, the catalog, trying to find a set of words that would be really pretty for the front. That would be something, you know, inspirational. So that's where I got that. And then the little dot for the center is the same. Oh, this is um, the copper clay. So that goes in the middle. And then we're going to die cut that. And I... I have a little trick for you. So this um, die cut is a little bit tricky to line up sometimes. So I have a little trick for you. I always put post-it tape on my dies to hold them down when I'm doing it. So I lined this up the first time and then I put the post-it note at the top of the daisy. So now I know when I'm lining this up, this post-it note, post-it tape is at the top of the daisy. So when I go to line it up, there's the top of my daisy. And I know the tape is at the top, so I just put it down. And now it's all lined up. I don't even have to sit there and go, oh, which way am I going? And sit there every time to try and figure out which way it goes. I know this is the top. So, okay, if that's the top of my daisy, look at the top of my tape. And there you go. It's already lined up. So there's a tip for you because I was doing it in class and, and every single person who was doing this was like taking 10 minutes to try and line this daisy up. And I said, hold on a minute, let me, let me, <laughs> we gotta do something because this is taking too long. <laughs> so I lined it up and I said, I'm gonna put it right at the very top of the um, flower. And I said, now all you gotta do is lay the flower at the top of your daisy and the tape will be right there at the top. And all you gotta do is lay it down. And so that was much easier. So there you go, you put it right there. It's lined up perfectly at the top. You can put a little T on your tape if you want to, so you know where it is. And then you pop it out, and there you go. So you got it all set to go. No more wiggling it to see where it goes. And you can do that with the big one too. So then we're gonna put this right on here. And I just came up with that idea like in the middle of like class the other day, so. <laughs> Cause I don't really have that much trouble lining it up. It does take me like a few seconds, but I don't know, people in class were having a lot of difficulty and I was like, okay, I gotta come up with a better idea than just um, saying, here, try it, <laughs> you know, cause it was, it was taking a while. All right, so we're gonna um, glue these two together. And, oh, that goes, goes um, that way. <laughs> Almost glued it on the wrong side. And this is the wrong glue, no it's not, it's the right glue. It already got a little crusty at the top. All right, so we're gonna put this right in the middle. And I left a little bit more border on this because I wanted it more, um, I wanted more of that brownish color to show. And the flower's gonna go on with some dimensionals. I have a funny joke for you tonight. It's a blonde, blonde joke. 
I know you guys love the blonde jokes. <laughs> I know they're funny. Even if you're a blonde, they're still funny. All right, so there is our flower. And then this is going to glue down right there, too. I probably should have done that first before I put the flower on. And then that's going to go wherever you want it to go. I'm going to put it, like, about right there. And if you wanted to, I mean, you could put a different saying on here. Like, if you wanted a, um, a Bible verse or, a, you know, you could print something off your printer you wanted something, you know, longer or whatever, because you have a lot of this paper left over at the top because it is 12 inches and this is nine and a half inches. So you're going to have two and a half inches of this left. So you'll have a pretty big piece. So you could put a bigger section with more words if you want it to, but then you cover up more of your daisies. All right. And then we've got some rhinestones we're going to put on here with our take your pick tool. I've also got some cards to give away. So put one right in the middle of the flower and then I'm gonna put some in the middle of some of the other flowers. And let's do one there. I'll put a couple more. Whoops. So now we've got a bunch of sparkly stuff on there and we can also spritz it with some shimmer spray. See, don't you love that binding? How pretty that looks? It does look like leather, I think. Makes it look fancy like it's not really paper. Make it all sparkly. Love it, love it, love it. All right, so what do you guys think? Do you love it? I missed a whole bunch of comments. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at all these comments. Um, <laughs> Carol says, my partner calls her laughing girl. <laughs> Lisa is laughing girl. <laughs> oh, Starla doesn't have any wine. Somebody better get her some wine. I have some in the refrigerator, but I haven't had any in a long time. I've been trying. I've been trying not to have much sugar. I just have ice cream. I just eat my sugar instead of drinking my sugar. <laughs> my husband said you're crazy. Every time you laugh, I say no. You are a happy person, and unlike him, <laughs> that is so funny. You should have told your friend. Thanks, Karen. I, you know, the other night I couldn't sleep, and um, so I was either on Facebook or. YouTube. I can't remember which one. And I just started scrolling through and, um, oh, Audrey says, put playback speed at 0.5 times. If you want to hear Lisa drunk. Yes, that is hysterical. If you are ever depressed and you want to laugh hysterically, just change the, the playback speed. If you go to, um, if you're on YouTube watching it, you can just like hover on the screen, the picture on the screen and the little settings thing will pop up and it'll put, it'll say playback speed and put it at 0.5 and it'll slow down the speed and it'll make me sound like I'm drunk because it'll go really slow. And it is so funny. Even I start laughing myself. I laugh at myself. But um, what was I just saying? I forgot. Um, I totally just lost my train of thought. Um... What was I just talking about before that? Um, oh, I was watching. So I was scrolling through um, watching um, videos the other night because I couldn't sleep. And somehow I got on all these videos of Dr. Phil. And I don't even watch Dr. Phil. But there were all these videos of these horrible husbands that, like, had... Um, they were like really mean to their wives and um this one guy was like so mean and he kept calling his wife fat and everything but he was like way fatter than she was and um you know he was he said well she's gained a lot of weight since we got married and all this stuff and um yes I sh I'm sure I have had no wine <laughs> 
Oh, yeah, you could put tabs in this. That would be good. But I was just sitting there watching it thinking, this guy is like the most horrible husband I've ever seen in my life. And Dr. Phil was telling him how bad he was. And the wife, I'm like, why are you still married to him? But I mean, I was up to like two o'clock just scrolling through watching all these videos of Dr. Phil. And they only show you like 15 minutes. So then you're like trying to find the other part of the video. And it was so funny. All right, let me go show you, I mean, tell you the joke. So hold on, let me find the joke real quick. Okay, this is a blonde one, but it's really funny. A blonde teenager wanting to earn extra money for the summer decided to hire herself out as a handy woman as she started canvassing the nearby well-to-do neighborhood. She went to the front door of the first house and asked the owner if he had any odd jobs for her to do. He said, well, I guess I could use somebody to paint my porch. And he said, how much do you charge? And she said, um, well, how about $50? The man agreed and told her that the paintbrushes and everything she would need were, was in the garage. The man's wife, hearing the conversation, said to her husband, um, does she realize that our porch goes all the way around the house? He responded, well, that's a bit cynical, isn't it? And the wife replied, you're right. I guess I'm starting to believe all those dumb blonde jokes we've been getting by email lately. Later that day, the blonde teenager came to the door to collect her money and the husband said, you're finished already? And she said, yes. And she said, and I even had paint left over, so I gave it two coats. Impressed, the man reached into his pocket for the $50 and handed it to her along with a $10 tip. And the teenager said, and by the way, it's not a porch, it's a Lexus. <laughs> Um, that was not what I saw coming. How about you guys? <laughs> All right, I got some cards to give away. So, are you guys ready? I know, you didn't see that coming either. That's a good one to tell your husbands. <laughs> Trying to get a cheap paint job. All right, so... So I've got, let me see, I think five cards. Some of these were from a, about a week ago and nobody claimed them. So we're going to try again. And then some of these are, I just went and got off the table because I made these this morning. Didn't see that coming. I know. Here you might grow hair out if you, it might look different. Purple, what? Oh yeah. You know what, Debbie? I know a lot of people who when they had to um, shave their hair because they had chemo, their hair came back totally different and like different color. Actually, I have like three or four friends that their hair came back totally different. Yeah, I think that's so funny. Okay, so let me see. All right, so the first one, this is one of my favorites. This is with the white craft ink that we did not too long ago. All right, let me see think we're gonna give this one to Debbie Spicer how about that we she hasn't gotten a card in a while so Spice Girl you're gonna get this one there you go that's gonna match your hat that I sent you so there you go and the next one let's see Lucy I don't think you've gotten one in a while Lucy C you get this one. I don't even know your last name. Oh, we have another Lisa on here. I don't think we've had a Lisa. I don't remember Lisa. So Lisa, you get this one. Lisa Atley. We hardly ever have Lisas on here. How about Renee Gines? You can get this one. This is one of my favorite cards. And last one is, um, let me see, Mimi Cakes. That's a cute name. Winner is Mimi Cakes. That sounds like a grandma nickname. Mimi Cakes. You get this one. 
So there you go, girls. All right, congratulations to the winners. And thanks for joining me tonight for date night with Lisa on Saturday night. So the next video will be Tuesday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. And I don't know what we're going to be doing, but it'll be something fun. So I hope you guys will join me. And I'm going to go back and read some of these comments that I missed because I see you guys are talking all sorts of stuff that I missed. <laughs> did I make all those cards in the live video? Yes, I did. Yeah, I made all these. All the videos are, um, yeah, all these I've done videos of. So you can go back and look at the videos. If you just go, if you click on my name um, under this video and then go back, that'll take you to my channel. Then you click on live. You can find the videos for all of the cards that I just showed you. So hopefully you guys love this journal that we did today. And if you want to place an order for anything, you could just go to my um, blog at stampingwithlisa.com. I know I never post there because I never have time, but you can order there and don't forget the host code so you can get your card kit. And um, I will see you back on Tuesday. Don't forget to thumbs up. We've got a hundred thumbs up. Yay. And like, subscribe. Will it be kit night on Tuesday? Oh, I hadn't thought about that. Um, let me see. Tuesday will be the 30th. Oh, so, but June 1st is Thursday. Mm. I don't know. I have to think about that. Because really Thursday should, but I'm not doing a video Thursday. So maybe I'll do a video this Thursday. I don't know. We'll, we'll surprise. Well, it'll be a surprise on Tuesday. <laughs> it'll, it'll be whatever I come up with. I'll let you know if it's a kid or not. <laughs> Maybe we'll have a Thursday video this week. All right, you guys. Have a great rest of your weekend and take care, everybody. Um, I hope I gave you a few laughs tonight. Um, if not, go back and rewatch the video at half speed, and that'll definitely give you some laughs. Um, take care, everybody, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.